Hello, this is Spellbinders Report. I'm going to give a quick review over this particular sunspot um, cluster that's on the sun right now. And it looks like it's starting to move together. When they start doing that, that's when we start getting nice CMEs off of uh, the sunspots. This one here is moving into this one here. This is becoming larger. I feel that by the time it gets around to here, it will probably be real close to this one and it will cause a, a X flare event within the next 24 to 48 hours. And I'm um, just wondering if that's why they had the Denver exercises in there. Are they just exercising for an event like this, as in the Jesse Ventura uh, Apocalypse 2012, where he talked about in there, went around and found all these underground bases that were being built across the country. It's starting to make more and more sense why they had the exercise in Denver Airport uh, Saturday. This last Saturday over the weekend because that's where the biggest underground base is. Is there. The thing is 300,000 square feet. Or, yeah, 300,000 I believe the guy said. It's huge. It's way that way. It's huge. And they're still building out there. When that was done two years ago, they were still building because they were driving down the road outside the airport and out in the other grounds. And they showed all the piles of dirt. I mean, this area is perfectly flat as a board. I mean, it's flat, and there's all these hills and stuff, and it's all this rock and dirt they took up out of the ground and piled it up, and it was at least a couple of miles of that. So you know they've got a huge complex there around that airport. Plus, they got all the murals in there that show, you know, destruction by fire this time. Last time it was the great deluge of the flood. This time it will be fire. And that would be a uh, massive mega flare from the sun that would take out the electromagnetic field bathing the earth and the sun's solar rays directly on the surface. Kind of like what you saw in Oh, I guess 2012, and oh, there was a couple of other movies too. Was it Core? That's one it was. It was Core where they stopped the Earth's internal generator and it started breaking down the magnetic field, and the guys on the bridge and on the San Francisco bridge instantly gets burned on the arm. Well, that's about the way it would be if the magnetic field disappeared for any length of time. Everything would be being scorched. Water would boil in an instant. And this is the type of thing I think is could happen within the next, from now until the end of uh, 2012. It's a mega tsunami of flares, CMEs. And this one here looks like it's going to give us an X. It may, if it gives us an X in this position, uh, or here, I guarantee a grid somewhere in the northern hemisphere on the daytime side is going to go down somewhere. I guarantee it, because this has moved down a bit. It's starting to, when they start going towards the equator, that's when you really start to worry, because then there are shotgun blasts right at us. And this is close enough that it will do a uh, power disruption, whatever the daytime side of the Earth is when it happens, when it makes impact after the flare. And these are all active here. This is another sunspot here. These are real active looking. I mean, I can go back and actually show you this one here, and you can see how active it is. I mean, that's real active. Look how much energy is being shot around, electromagnetics and stuff, and plasma being picked up and tossed all around these, just these two sunspots. 13, I think it's the 1306 sunspot. And this is the one that I'm concerned about that could give us a an X plus like an X9 or something flare being aimed almost right at us 
in the way that they're they're the size of them and they're starting to move towards each other is also I mean here's this this shows you really how active it really is this is a Soho EIT 284 latest image and you can just look at it and go well that just don't look good I mean it's really active on there and you got the red which is the uh, 304 and you can see where the sunspots are and how that one over to the side there and the one coming around these are these are lining up I mean any time this thing goes off it's gonna it's not gonna be nice this is green or the 195 the IT and that's all I basically wanted to show you I just wanted you to see this and say that I think we're getting another X flare within the next 24 to 48 hours. I forecast that just the way these sunspots are starting to move together. Like I said, this is this is an X type of formation of sunspots. When you're like this, you can get M's. You get something like that, close to that, and they connect. You get X's, X flares, which is high intensity X-ray flares which means a lot of energy is being released. Until next time, this is Spellbinder. Be prepared, be ready. Have flashlights and everything, and all the supplies and food, and have a backpack ready to go in case you have to run to some shelter somewhere. Until then, good day.